This is the Hentai Happy Podcast. Schrodinger's cat, while at the same time being a stream of consciousness existing in multiple versions of the present? Yes. Well, look no further than the show Devs, a very ironically named series that takes place in Silicon Valley disposing of a very familiar societal structure featuring tech oligarchs with ambitions. Yes. Ambitions. Ambitions that parallel the modern-day tech giants with delusions of grandeur, waiting to dictate our very breath, movement, and thought processes online. That doesn't send shivers down your spine. I don't know what does. The story follows a very interesting actress who I've never heard of before for some reason. But she can act. I definitely feel Sonoya Mizuno has been snubbed from Hollywood on account that she takes her craft very seriously. This woman can have your heart throbbing in one scene, shaking in another, and tear jerk in the next. Basically, she woke up one day and her life turned upside down, but she didn't wind up in Bel Air. No. Instead, she got involved in a grand scheme of conspiracy after conspiracy regarding the quintessential question found in the age-old Lawrence of Arabia. And that question is, is it written? By that I mean, is everything we do predetermined in life? Is our free will just a sham? Are our thoughts, breaths, relations, actions, and movements really those of our own? Or is there a greater power directing us? Whether it be God or the human interpretation of supernatural forces in quantum physics. Now, I don't claim to be a master of quantum physics, nor do I know the formula by heart. The theory enables the possibility of having multiple threaded dimensions coexisting at the same point in time, only to diverge due to a minute difference. Then again, this show also explores the divine resurrection of Christ and investigates the prospect of harmonizing the two ideas together. Is there money to be had here, or is the motivation of the selfish kind? The even flow of this show is just right. Directing made fun. There's never a dull moment, and every scene takes place with purpose and a subtle meaning. It's good for those of you who read not only words, but body language as well. Acting is more than just a script and an expressive face. A body can be interpreted to tell a story too. No lackadaisical scenes here either, where the characters are just staring into oblivion because the writing team ran out of ideas or have no pacing awareness. I never got the sense that it was dragging on in the slightest. The show did well to leave you hanging at the edge of your seat and then abruptly roll out the outro. Devs alternates between sci-fi and horror, with a slight twist in the end that makes sense looking back. Sometimes I feel like I'm watching an updated version of The Shining, when at times it was jousting with the born identity, and at other points feeling like a spin-off of Gattaca. The plot has its fair share of action, horror, fantasy, and sobering reality, enough to keep you engaged throughout. Now, is it a good show? For me, I can say with certainty that I didn't unintentionally fall asleep once while watching this series. I'd have to say it was engaging, and I was interested in knowing the outcomes of each character. Each partisan in the show played their role well enough to make me feel invested in their lives. I can't say the same for any shows or movies nowadays. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, but probably took for granted because I felt like I was watching a 90s show again. Devs isn't woke, not in the slightest. The main character, who we are led to believe is the main character, does a good job of knowing her limits and coming to terms with her reality, which makes her all the more vulnerable and able to reconcile with her situations as a human being, someone we can empathize and sympathize with, a relatable protagonist no matter who you are, not some bestest ever star with max stats at the beginning of an RPG by virtue of being a woman and or a minority. This was Hentai Happy. Thank you for tuning in to the Hentai Happy Podcast. And it was a review of the series Devs.
Good day. It is hentai happy. And I have some news.